Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well, and of course Arnie does too. Now in the animal kingdom, there are a few animals that are famous for living for a very long time, with the giant tortoise and the African elephant being some of the most famous. But in the world's rivers and lakes, there are also a few fish that live for a very long time. So today I will be going through five fish that have very long lifespans. And we'll start off in the Great Lakes of North America, we have the Lake Sturgeon. Now the Lake Sturgeon is also known as the Rock Sturgeon, as they prefer rocky areas and freshwater tributaries. And the Lake Sturgeon is the only sturgeon sturgeon species endemic to the Great Lakes Basin. And like I've covered many times on this channel before, sturgeons are prehistoric fish, as they're thought to date back 250 million years ago to the Triassic period. And since then they have outlasted the dinosaurs, and there are around 25 species of sturgeon still alive today. And in the Great Lakes and its tributaries, they are a bottom feeder, normally hoovering up insect larvae, worms, leeches, and crustaceans. Other fish are rarely found in their diet, but one of the few species that they're known to prey on is the invasive round goby, which I feature in a recent video. And like all sturgeon species, they can grow very large, as they're thought to reach a size of around 2.2 meters or 7.25 feet. But unfortunately, all sturgeon species have had a hard time over the past few hundred years, as poaching and commercial harvesting have all but destroyed the sturgeon populations throughout the world. And as I've covered many times on this channel before, it's because of the high demand for their caviar. And because of the high prices which this caviar sells for, poaching of sturgeon has become a real problem in the past few years. And even though lake sturgeon caviar isn't the most expensive. Because of commercial harvesting, lake sturgeon populations within the US were close to extinction by 1900. And today, lake sturgeon are currently listed as either threatened or endangered in 19 of the 20 states in which they inhabit. And in the lake sturgeon world, females live a lot longer than males, as males are thought to typically reach the grand old age of 55 years, where females are thought to live to up to 150 years old. And although that's a very respectable age, it still doesn't rival the oldest living land animal. So hopefully with the help of ongoing conservation efforts, we'll see a lot more of this species around the Great Lakes. But for our next fish, we'll be staying in North America, as we have the alligator gar. Now this large predatory fish is also found in Mexico as well as the United States, and can be found in a variety of habitats, from large lakes to sluggish rivers and backwater swamps. And the alligator gar is the largest gar species by a long way, as they're thought to reach a maximum size of around 3 meters or 10 10 feet, making them one of the largest freshwater fish in the world. And just like the sturgeons, gars are very primitive fish, although they don't date back quite as far as the sturgeons, as they're thought to date back 100 million years ago to the early Cretaceous period. And to help them survive this long, the alligator gar has a few adaptations that make them such a durable species. Because as I've covered many times before, they have the ability to breathe atmospheric oxygen, which makes them perfectly suited to swampy conditions. And although there isn't many dangerous predators on Earth today compared to the early Cretaceous period, the alligator gar still has a great layer of defense, as their scales are not like the scales of other fish, as they have ganoid scales. And these scales are only found on sturgeons, paddlefishes, gars, bowfins, and bishes, which are all very primitive species of fish. And these scales are covered in a hard layer of enamel-like dentine, which makes them very hard to penetrate. And these scales are so strong and effective that some Native Americans used to use these scales as arrowheads. And today, one of the few predators that can take out an alligator gar is an actual alligator. And as gars are mostly ambush predators, they normally live a very slow lifestyle, and this might be one of the reasons that they're thought to reach a maximum age of around 70 years old, which is around the same maximum lifespan as an African elephant. And that's a very respectable age for our second prehistoric fish. And for our next species, we'll be yet again staying in North America, as we have the Big Mouth Buffalo. Now if you're not from the US, you may think the Big Mouth Buffalo is some kind of weird carp. But even though they look very similar, they are actually two completely different types of fish, as the five buffalo species are actually members of the sucker family. And in the wild, this fish can be found in both Canada and the United States, and tends to inhabit sluggish areas of large rivers and lakes. And in their long lifespan, they can reach a respectable size, as they are the largest buffalo species, reaching a length of around 1.2 meters or around 4 feet long. And to help them reach this size, they have a pretty impressive appetite, as they roam the freshwaters of North America, filter feeding on microfoods. And this fish also plays a very important role in the ecosystem, as young big mouth buffalo are prey to walleye, northern pike, catfish, and the previously featured alligator gar. But problem invasive species such as silver carp and common carp have really put a dent in their numbers. But if given the chance to reach maturity, they are able to reach the grand old age of 112 years old. And as it can be quite hard to tell the age of a fish, most of the lifespans on this video are the estimates of scientists. But the big mouth buffalo is the oldest age validated freshwater fish, as over a 
seven year study, scientists used carbon dating on the ear bones of some big mouth buffalo and found that one was officially 112 years old. And this study also found that around 90% of the fish studied were over 80 years old. And that's a very impressive age for such a carpy looking fish. But for our next species, we'll finally be moving away from North America and all the way over to Australia as we have the Australian lungfish. Now, the Australian lungfish is one of the weirdest freshwater fish still on the planet today. And just like the previously featured gar and sturgeon, they are another very primitive fish, with fossil records of this fish dating back 380 million years ago, all the way back to the Devonian period. And just like all the other lungfish species, they are masters at surviving, as many lungfish are able to live through droughts, with some being able to survive out of water for over four years. But out of all the members of its family, the Australian lungfish is the most water loving, as they don't spend long periods of time out of the water, and they only really use their modified lung in very poor oxygenated conditions. And although it's not the oldest living fish in the world, one specimen was the oldest living aquarium fish, as they aptly named Grandad, called Chicago Shed Aquarium Home. He was transported from Australia to Chicago in around 1933, and he lived a very happy life in this aquarium until he was euthanized due to failing health in February of 2017. And at this time, Grandad was thought to be in his mid-90s, which is a very impressive age even for us humans. And the keepers at the Shed Aquarium really must have been looking after him well, as the Australian lungfish is thought to reach a maximum age of around 100 years old, meaning that Grandad must have been a very happy and healthy fish. And that really is a very impressive age for one of the most primitive creatures on the planet. And for our next species, we'll be heading to most garden ponds worldwide, as we have the koi. Now koi are one of the most popular pond fish worldwide, and it's easy to tell why, as they come in so many different vibrant colours and are relatively hardy. And as I'm sure many of you know, koi are coloured varieties of the Amur carp, and humans have been keeping koi for a surprisingly long amount of time. As carp domestication began as early as 4th century China, with modern koi breeding originating in Japan and China several thousand years ago. And on the market today, there are over a hundred varieties of koi carp, with the Kohaku, Sankei, and Showa being three of the most popular. And breeding koi can be a very profitable business if you know what you're doing, as the most expensive koi was sold in China for around $2.2 million. But as I'm sure many of you know, your average koi won't sell for anywhere near as much. And koi carp can reach a similar size to the big mouth buffalo, as they're thought to reach maximum length of around 1.2 meters or four feet long. And although the average lifespan for a koi outside of Japan is around 15 years old, they can live for a lot longer than this, as well-maintained koi are thought to live to over 100 years old. But there is a very famous story about a scarlet-colored female koi called a hanako. This fish reportedly hatched in around 1751 and is believed to have lived for over two centuries in a pond near Mount Untake, which is located around 200 kilometers west of Tokyo. And as you can supposedly tell the age of a koi fish by the annual rings on its scales, Hanako was believed to be around 226 years old and eventually passed away in July of 1977. And that really is a very impressive age for such a beautiful fish. But that's about it for this video. If you know of any more fish that have very long lifespans, then let me know down in the comments below. But thank you for watching. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. But until next time, goodbye.